Yeah, I saw a lot of people in coats. I saw a few umbrellas. Yeah. It looked really cold up there, Erin. It was pretty chilly here, too, this morning, anyway. This morning, we had a few spots drop into the 40s, a couple of spots in the low 50s, even some cloud cover earlier this morning. But the clouds have cleared. Temperatures in the Metroplex have been able to warm into the low and mid 70s. 74 for DFW, Mineral Wells, and Arlington right now. A couple of spots in the upper 60s, Gainesville and Sherman there. You've got low 70s from Bonham to Greenville to Terrell, and then upper 70s. 70s for Comanche and Hamilton at the moment, but this is why it feels so comfortable. Dew points are in the 30s, 40s, and low 50s. You see uh, the humidity a little bit higher the farther south and east you go, but enjoy it now. We've got this northeast breeze, one of the reasons that the humidity is so low, another reason why the temperatures are a little bit cooler, certainly than where we were yesterday. But overnight, these winds are going to transition from the northeast back to the southeast. So as we take a look at the dew point meter, into tomorrow. Notice it's still pretty comfortable tomorrow morning, but once those winds start to crank, the humidity begins to return. So we'll start to notice these dew points jumping back into the 50s and 60s. So more moisture around by the time we get to Wednesday. And then look at this dry line move in from the west. So I do think Wednesday afternoon, we're going to have to watch to the north and to the west of DFW for some possible storm development right along that dry line. You see Jacksboro with that dew point in the upper 50s, and then you've got dew points in the 30s. Farther out to the west compared to uh, Dallas and Palestine with the dew points in the mid and upper 60s to around 70. So much more humid the farther east you are. But definitely watching for that storm development there. And then as the dry line retreats into the evening, we'll see where the storms go. But for Wednesday, there is a little bit of North Texas under this level one marginal risk for a few stronger storms, I think, for the late afternoon and evening. Threat is going to be higher into Oklahoma and Kansas. Uh, but the rain chances, they're at about 30. 30% Tuesday night, increasing to 40% for Wednesday. Uh, really, the rest of the week is going to have on and off shower and storm chances uh, pretty much each and every day. So tomorrow, most of the day is dry and temperatures warm back into the mid 70s. You notice more cloud cover around for the afternoon, though. The isolated rain and storm chances late tomorrow night. And then, of course, we watch for uh, that coverage to pick up to 40% into Wednesday, 20% through the rest of the week. But man, is this humidity? The increases so do those temperatures. We go from the mid 70s today to the mid 80s by Wednesday to near 90 by Friday, and we'll watch for a few stronger storms. I think particularly on Sunday, guys. All right, Aaron, thank you very much. Coming up.